today we'll discuss waiting for godo written by samuel beckett and what is waiting for godo first of all it's important that its pronunciation is godo it's not good dot it's godo g o d o t good godo waiting for godo so godo is not the name of any character in the play very importantly the title is waiting for godo a tragic comedy in two acts that is its subtitle which should be kept in mind so godo is not the name of any character who is there in the play it is it refers to some absence so anything jo bhi hamari zindagi mein hamare paas nahi hai that person that thing that ambition that article can be referred to as godo absence to yahan bhi they are waiting for godo but godo never comes in the play and when uh, mr samuel beckett was asked about that who godo was he said in one of his interviews that had i know who godo was i would have said so in the play agar mujhe pata hota godo hai kaun hai maine bata diya hota and ultimately this particular play belongs to the theater of the absurd now what is theater of the absurd jo world war ke baad ka time tha when people lost Uh, everything they felt you know that life is meaningless and they felt that uh, their existence is uh, meaningless they felt rootlessness nothing was in their hands and everything was falling apart in that particular scenario he wrote this uh, play and it is all about the gestures it is all about their monosyllabic dialogues there is hardly any traditional tenet traditional feature of a play कि एक बिगनिंग होगा मिडिल होगी क्लाइमेक्स आएगा एंड होगा नो नथिंग ऑफ द सॉर्ट सो इट्स एन एंटी प्ले एग्जिस्टेंशियलिस्ट प्ले सो लेट्स नो समथिंग अबाउट सैम्यूल बैकेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सैम्यूल बैकेट लिव्ड फ्रॉम 1906 टू 1989 ही टुक बर्थ इन आयरलैंड एंड ही अटेंडेड ट्रिनिटी कॉलेज इन डब्लिन he spent extensive time in germany and france where he finally settled permanently he took part in french resistance against the nazi occupation during world war 2 so whatever was going around jo chal raha tha us sab ko hi apne plays mein dikhane ki koshish ki hai samuel beckett ne his early works both poetry and prose were written in english and later on he himself translated them into french aur jo french mein likha tha usko baad mein unhone english mein translate kar diya His most notable works include Waiting for Godo in 1953 Second World War ke bhi baad right and End Game was written in even after 5 years of Waiting for Godo End Game 1958 he received a Nobel prize for literature in 1969 very important thing to keep in mind and he died in 1989 Beckett was among the mid 20th century writers whose work collectively is referred to as theater of the absurd so there are too many factors which helped in the formation of which uh, which were responsible behind the uh, origin of theater of the absurd kyun aaya kya kya features the kon kon se circumstances the there are too many factors which we are going to discuss in some other, uh, like some other day or in some other video influenced by existentialism the theory on which their works were based it was existentialism that was a theory very important proposed by hedegger and kekegaard albert camus according to which they thought that our existence like jo us time pe samaj chal raha tha jaise unko feel ho raha tha they felt me, like life was meaningless to them it was rootless and they felt alienated and the new one thing that we have to drag our breath till the end and there is no way out hame aise hi rehna hai is duniya ko jhelna hi hai so wo sari cheeze jo hain is theory ke andar is in sare works mein dikhai gayi hain so influenced by existentialism they portrayed life as meaningless and produced plays that gave little attention to matters of plot theme characterization plot ke naam pe there was hardly any plot and more specifically one has to keep in mind there is difference between story and plot story ka matlab ek tha raja ek thi rani dono mar gaye khatam kahani this is actually kahani plot is when you have a cause and effect sequence that there was a king he uh, got defeated in a battle he was in depression and then he died 
uh, to take the revenge of his death the queen fought a battle with the uh, winning king and she died on the spot and then because of her death her son you know left everything so there is a cause and effect chain this is called plot lekin yahan pe theater of the absurd mein aapko plot ke naam pe kuch nahi milne wala it's only the you can say uh putting together of or if as if someone has collected so many different scenes together and put them uh in one go and named it as uh the play so plot nahi hai beginning middle end nahi hai then theme there is hardly any theme plays or movies are made aap isko bahut correlate kar sakte ho plays ko movies ke sath but here we don't have any such thing मूवी में भी कोई ना कोई मुद्दा होता है दैट दे वांट टू शो सम लव स्टोरी दे वांट टू शो सम सोशल इश्यू दे विश टू शो सम हिडन ट्रूथ्स ऑफ द थीम के नाम पे द प्लेज आर नॉट बेस्ड ऑन एनी थीम रादर द जो आपके प्ले राइट्स हैं दे आर वेरी पर्टिकुलर अबाउट दैट वी डोंट वांट टू प्रोफेस एनी आइडिया और प्रीच एनी थिंग दिस इज वॉट वी सॉ दिस इज वॉट वी एक्सपीरियंस एंड दिस इज वॉट वी आर शोइंग टू द वर्ल्ड दे आर वेरी ओपन अबाउट इट and as far as characterization is concerned so the heroes are anti hero they are not the ones who belong to the royal class they are not the ones who only have one hemorrhia hemorrhia according to aristotle the tragic character should have a tragic flaw error of judgment or a kind of weakness so hemorrhia nahi yahan pe to pure ke pure wo bhare hi pade hain vices ke sath so plot थीम और कैरेक्टराइजेशन हर किसी पॉइंट हर किसी क्वालिटी के नाम पे यू विल ओनली फाइंड एम्पटीनेस वेटिंग फॉर गोदो इज पर मोस्ट वेल नोन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द डिस्पेयरिंग व्यू ऑफ द ह्यूमन कंडीशन तो अगर ह्यूमन कंडीशन का आपको सबसे नकारात्मक साइड देखना है निगेटिव साइड देखना है डिस्पेयर डिसअपॉइंटमेंट अगर आपको सिर्फ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन तो चलो किसके साथ ही करनी है ये सब नेगेटिविटी देखनी है सो वेटिंग फॉर गोदो इज अ परफेक्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इन 1950s एंड हाउ मेनी मेजर करेक्टर्स आर देयर सो देयर आर इन टोटल फोर मेजर करेक्टर्स फोर इन टोटल वेलादमीर स्ट्रैग इन पोजो एंड लकी एंड देर इज दिस बॉय हु कम्स एज अ मैसेंजर देयर नेम्स रिफ्लेक्ट नेशनैलिटीज their names reflect nationalities jaise vladimir hai to ki kaun si country yahan pe depict ho rahi hai estragan hai to ye naam kahan ka hai jaise lucky ho gaya english hai vladimir russian hai pozo italian hai estragan french to alag alag names kyun liye gaye hain sirf ye batane ke liye that this is not the situation of one country everywhere the same situation prevailed so first of all we have estragan Estragon is his nickname is Gogo, and he's one of the two tramps. Tramps, who are vagabonds, who are there to protect them, who are there to protect them. He's weak and fearful. He's obsessed with his physical needs, his sore feet, and his hunger, and has a poor memory. So Estragon ko bilkul yad nahi hai wo kahan hai kahan nahi. So he struggles with his physical problems also. Next one we have is Vladimir, whose nickname is Didi. A stragon's companion for fifty years. They have been together for fifty years. He is assertive, but no more enlightened than his friend. He is more concerned with the metaphysical question than physical needs. So he talks of philosophical things. Everything, whatever they are showing, it's not the immediate uh, things they are talking of. It is like they are talking of things at. metaphysical level beyond this world the talking of god and their purpose of their existence to choti moti baat nahi kar raha vladimir ki jo talks hain immediate level se uthke they are going up to meta, uh, metaphysical level philosophical level dur tak ja rahi hain then we have pozo now pozo is a cruel man who drives his bearer lucky is ka jo servant hai with a whip and a rope around his neck he reappears he reappears blind in act 2 to pehle he is the master and lucky is the um servant or act 2 mein vice versa which again shows that you know chairs are never going to be the same next occupants are going to take your chairs to aaj main hu kal ko koi aur hoga yahan pe uske baad koi aur hoga nothing is permanent in the world to ye ye bhi dikhane ki koshish ki gayi hai then we have lucky 
Lucky is the slave and he carries all of uh, Pozo's gear, his bag and baggage, but is afraid to leave his master. He speaks once a long and pointless oration near the end of Act 1, but is dumb in Act 2. So Lucky ka jo speech hai, usko Lucky is a think bola gaya hai. Jaise ek movie hai Amitabh Bachchan ki, usme wo apni taraf se badi sari English bolte hai, scientific se English. So same वैसी ही इंग्लिश यहां पे लकी ने बोल के दिखाई है इट्स हिज ओरेशन लकी इज थिंक व्हेन द हैट इज पुट ऑन हिज हेड वो बोलता है जैसे ही हैट उसके सर से उतार ली जाती है वो चुप कर जाता है एज इफ द हैट इज द स्विच ऑन एंड स्विच ऑफ एंड ऑल एब्सर्डिटीज ऑल फुलिश एक्ट्स दे आर इनवॉल्विंग इन दे आर इंडल्जिंग इन जस्ट टू शो दैट देयर इज यू नो दे डोंट हैव एनीथिंग प्रोडक्टिव टू डू और ऐसी हमारी लाइफ हो चुकी है हम सिर्फ टाइम बिता रहे हैं वी आर किलिंग द टाइम देर इज हार्डली लेफ्ट एनी थिंग फॉर आस टू डू सो इन शॉर्ट द समरी इज गोइंग टू बी वेटिंग फॉर गो दो इज अ ट्रेजिक कॉमेडी दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो ट्रेजिक कॉमेडी इन टू एक्ट दैट इज अब टाइटल और सब टाइटल ऐसे लिखा जाता है वेटिंग फॉर गो दो देन टू डॉट दिस कोलन एंड अ ट्रेजिक कॉमेडी इन टू एक्ट सो इट्स रिटर्न बाय आयरिश because he took birth in ireland samuel beckett irish writer hain ye it was published in uh, 52 in french first as en adanta godo en adante godo was a pronunciation and first produced in 1953 to 52 mein likha publish hua aur 53 mein produce kiya gaya ye play waiting for godo was a true innovation in drama and the theater of absurds first theatrical success तो वेटिंग फॉर गो दो कहीं ना कहीं एब्सर्ड थिएटर की फर्स्ट सक्सेसफुल अटेम्प्ट थी नाउ द ब्रीफ समरी सो द प्ले कंसिस्ट ऑफ कॉन्वर्सेशन बातचीत हो रही है किसकी विलादमीर एंड स्ट्रैगन दिस इज वन पेयर ट्रैम्स का एक पेयर ये है एक कपल कह सकते हैं हु आर वेटिंग फॉर द अराइवल ऑफ मिस्टीरियस गो दो वाई मिस्टीरियस नो बडी नोज हु इज वेन वी ऑलवेज लुक फॉर मीनिंग वी यू नो जनरली सर्च द लाइफ ऑफ द ऑथर कई बार ऑटोबायोग्राफिकल बायोग्राफिकल एलिमेंट्स मिल जाते हैं बट जब सैम्यूल बेकेट की लाइफ को देखा गया क्लोजली या उसके एक्सपीरियंसिस को देखा गया और जब उसको पूछा गया उसने हाथ ही खड़े कर दिए दैट हैड आई नो आई वुड हैव सेट सो इन द प्ले मुझे नहीं पता गोदो कौन है एंड वन सच प्ले राइट इज हैरोल्ड पिंटर हैरोल्ड पिंटर उसको जब पूछा गया हीरोज बर्थडे पार्टी दैट वॉट इज द एग्जैक्ट मीनिंग ऑफ योर प्ले सो हिज answer was indeed iconic he said if you want to have the headache over the overtones provide you your own aspirin mujhe mat poocho agar is pe dimag khapana hai to apni aspirin apni sar dard ki dimai dawai khud leke baitho so these were you know their temperament so they are waiting for mysterious mr godo who continuously sends word that he will appear but Who never does? तो मैसेज आता है कि मिस्टर गोदो इज नॉट कमिंग टूडे ही कम लेटर बट ही डजेंट कम दे एनकाउंटर लकी एंड पोजो अब ये दोनों व्लादिमिर एंड स्ट्रैगन दे एनकाउंटर लकी एंड पोजो दे डिस्कस देयर मिजरीज एंड देयर लॉट्स इन लाइफ दे कंसिडर हैंगिंग दमसेल्स इमेजिन इनको हैंगिंग सीसाइड कमिट करना अपने आप को टांग देना ट्री के साथ जहां पर ये वेट कर रहे हैं ईजी लग रहा है Yet they wait, लेकिन फिर भी वो वेट कर रहे हैं ऑफन प्रसिव एज बींग ट्राम्स वलादमिर एंड इंस्ट्रैगन आर अ पेयर ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स हु डू नॉट नो वाई दे व पुट ऑन अर्थ तो उनको बेचारों को यही नहीं पता कि वो इस धरती पे है ही क्यों दे मेक द टेन्यूस असेंशन दट देयर मस्ट बी सम पॉइंट टू देयर एग्जिस्टेंस तो आपस में बात करते हुए सोचते हैं दट देयर वुड बी सम पर्पस कोई तो पर्पस होगा जिसकी वजह से हम यहाँ इस अर्थ के ऊपर हैं and they look to godo for enlightenment and they are waiting they are waiting ki godo aayega to kuch to hame pata chalega so godo has been interpreted you know differently by different scholars and uh, critics so koi godo ko kuch keh raha hai koi kuch keh raha hai kisi ke liye he is a savior kisi ke liye he is a cruel master jisse ye dar rahe hain jiski ye wait kar rahe hain किसी के लिए ही इज अ बेनिफेक्टर जिसको वेट करके इनको लगता है कि अगर वो आ जाएगा तो हमारी सिचुएशन इंप्रूव हो जाएगी सो नंबर ऑफ इंटरप्रिटेशन है क्रिटिक्स 
because they hold hold out hope for meaning and direction they acquire a kind of nobility that enables them to rise above their futile existence so they are waiting they are looking up to that you know mr godu is going to give us some solace in life so here this picture can be helpful so these are vladimir and its dragon both are there by the side of the sickly tree and this is lucky and he's pozo who is holding uh, that man he is the beast of burden uska bhar utha ke ghum raha hai wo aur ye isne rope ki wajah se usko pakda hua uske sath so a little detail of the play two men vladimir and stragen they meet near a tree ek tree hai jiske paas ye hai they converse on various topics and reveal that they are waiting for a man named godo while they wait the other two men enter pozo is on his way to the market to sell his slave to ye slave hai next picture mein aap dekh sakte hain isko bechne ke liye pozo jo hai wo ja raha hai aur slave ka naam hai lucky they he pauses for a while to converse with vladimir and stragen lucky entertains them by dancing and thinking thinking apni speech suna ke and then they leave that's all about act 2 is a replica of act 1 basically kya hai there are two tramps who are waiting for mr godo uh, they are joined by another pair lucky and pozo and then a messenger comes with the message ki mr godo is not coming today maybe he'll come tomorrow and they leave that's it again in act 2 the same two tramps are waiting for mr godo again a couple they are met by uh that pair of lucky and pozo this time pozo is blind and lucky is guiding him again messenger boy comes and he gives the same message and the play ends the only difference in act 1 and in act 2 how we are told ki time pass ho raha hai that sickly tree jo side pe uh ye wala tree jo piche aapko nazar aa raha hai iske upar kuch patte aa jate hain that's the only difference this is act 1 actually so that's the only difference of act 1 and act 2 so after pozo and lucky leave a boy enters and tells vladimir that he is a messenger from godo he tells vladimir that godo will not be coming tonight but he will surely come tomorrow so abhi bhi ek hope ke sath they are waiting for they are waiting for vladimir asks him some questions about godo and the boy departs after this dip, after his departure vladimir and stragen decide to leave but they do not move as the curtain falls so baat karte hain ki jana hai lekin wo jaate nahi hain next in act 2 what happens again the next night vladimir and stragen again meet near the tree to wait for godo lucky and pozo enter again but this time pozo is blind and lucky is dumb pozo does not remember the meeting the two men the night before ye act 2 hai they leave and vladimir and stragen continue to wait to dobara bhi yahi hota hai they continue to wait shortly after the boy enters and once again tells vladimir that godo will not be coming he insists that he did not speak to vladimir yesterday after he leaves stragen and vladimir decide to leave but again they do not move as the curtain falls ending the play so act 1 is exact replica of act to this is what is happening in the play but action kam hai gestures are very important language ka connection nahi hai but pauses are very important monosyllabic dialogues are very important which are taking this uh, play to the next level and it is indeed iconic no other play has matched the stature what godo waiting for godo has set for itself that's it